Uh, indie games as they're kind of conceived today are like you know small team games where you kind of pace at your own rules and um, I, I mean who doesn't love that? I, this, is, this is why I got into the game industry. I, I was making games when I was a teenager and selling them at the computer store and there's nobody telling me what to do and I could make whatever I wanted and I would make my own vision and with my friends we kind of get together and animate things from on screen. It's like I wasn't trying to win over a giant audience but as it happens like uh, when you have a giant audience and you're doing these things you do find a, a voice that appeals to people. What's great about the indie scene is that they don't really stick to the rules of game design, right? For instance, with Kinect, lots of people make games with Kinect that do not require the controller, right? And we were not that experienced with Kinect, but we wanted to try something completely new. So we said, okay, we're gonna make a game that requires a Kinect and a controller. And from there on, it was just creativity, right? We didn't have any constraint and we didn't have to sell this title. It was just trying stuff. And that's how we got our concept, which I believe is original and something new. And that's what the indie scene is about, trying new things, new state of place, new rules. It's the speed of iteration, I think. You can, you can very quickly, and also that you've got very little ties to what your game is at the moment. So if you go to an expo and 200 people say, we really like your game, but this, we want to change this about it, you have the ability to then change that, try it out, if that doesn't work, you change it back. And you don't have an enormous kind of 700 man strong dev team that you have to try and turn, turning an oil tank and try and get your game to shift direction. You can just move very quickly. Being independent, means you're very, very nimble. I mean, we can go from, from zero to a game on Xbox One really, really quickly. We can find out that it's a, there's a new initiative and go and go and follow that. We can just do so many things that, you know, as a bigger organisation, you've got to go and maybe have a committee meeting and then see if the boss says yes and seeing if it follows the governance rules of that corporation or something like that. Whereas we can go, you know, with my business partner who's just sat over there, just go, should we do it? Yes, right, okay, let's do it. And that's it. It's as simple as that. We just make it happen. I think, you know, from sort of medium to small scale indies, we all have that flexibility. The thing about the indie game scene is that it really feels like a community. Um, where we're from in Toronto, the indie game scene is amazing. It's like this really tightly knit community where we're all friends, we're not competing, and we're all sharing ideas and we're working together. And in some sense, that's where some of the best ideas come from, the fact that you get to work with lots of talented, amazing people. So I think being part of this community is, you know, a really big blessing. And the fact that now, we have the ability to get you know, our small, cool little ideas up on the big screen. To, to all of us, that's pretty amazing. I mean, you look around, we're guys like one or two man studios, and the fact that you're able to get your things out there on the couch, in the homes of people, it's just an amazing experience that none of us really saw coming.